I have to be honest, I forgot I was in the back end of it, so it kind of totaled my explanation of, of why I'm actually here. Um, but when I was 20 years old, uh, I fell in love with Camellia Kath. And by the time I was 21, uh, we were married and we had a beautiful little girl named Sarah. Uh, but during my entire courtship of Camellia, uh, I fell absolutely in love with Michelle, who was her other daughter. And I have had the great fortune of having her be a major part of my life uh, from that point forward. Uh, Vice versa. Bless your heart. <laughs> so, um, I thought this was going to actually be quite easy because I knew the film and I really know Michelle, but I was so moved by it. Uh, you might have to bear with me a couple, for a couple moments. But to begin with, uh, I wanted to talk about the impetus to make the film. Uh, did you just wake up one morning and go, this is what I'm going to do? Or was it over a long period it of time? Over a long period of time. I kind of woke up one day and did think that and then thought, I don't know how to make a documentary. And <laughs> um, it all happened when I turned 32, which is the year my dad died. Mm -hmm. He was 32. And I was 32 with married with a kid thinking, wow, I have so much more life to live and he, this is when he died. And I think that really kind of began the journey to try to make it a documentary. The reason why a documentary and not just, hey, tell me about my dad, was because I wanted people to know, I was frustrated people didn't know about his guitar playing. Well, that was kind of the next part, was, uh, was the idea to make the film a, an effort for you to learn more uh, about your father or to help bring a kind of spotlight to his incredible talent? Definitely both. 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 Because whenever I meet anybody that knew my dad or loved his music or I, it's the passion that comes through an email or a phone call or just the stories start pouring out. Mm -hmm. And at one point I was like, I should maybe start putting this in the film and try to make a film out of this. So... It was to get to know him, because I was only two. Yeah. But I also wanted to expose him a little bit of, for the guitar playing. You know, you actually always talked about his guitar playing when I was little. <laughs> well, it was, it was an interesting thing for both of us, because, uh, you know, Camelia as well went through an incredibly traumatic event, as did Michelle, but for both very different reasons. Uh, she had to live with the pain uh, and the memories of someone that she had lost. Uh, Michelle had to deal with not knowing her father and who he had lost. And so there was a tricky navigation uh, of trying to protect Camelia from suffering anymore and not having that be a constant discussion at the dinner table, yet a real desire to inform Michelle uh, about how special her father was. Uh, one of the things that I found so unique about the film uh, was the number of people you met on this journey that you hadn't met before uh, at, in the very opening uh, when you went to Chicago uh, and the guys that he was hanging out with and, his, and his, I, know, I know you knew his brother, uh, but his friends. And, and it was amazing to me to watch the way they would hug you. They would hug you like they were hugging their lost friend and, and or you were their daughter somehow. Uh, what was that experience like? Well, it's interesting because when you, you start trying to edit together many, many, many hours of interviews, and we also did interviews, but we also filmed meetings, and originally we thought about putting each one of those meetings in, because every time I met someone, we filmed it. All the guys that I sat down with, we filmed that, but once you have three or four hour long string out, you're like, okay, you know, we can't just be hugging people all the time. <laughs> like, hi, nice to see you. Oh my gosh, you look like your dad. You know, you really only need that sound bite maybe like one time. And, um, <laughs> but it, it's true. Um, J uh, Jerry Vaccarino, who um, was very close to my dad, very passionate about um, their friendship, cried when I saw him for the first time. We had never met and he was, the, he cried and he apologized. I'm sorry it has taken me this long to come see you. Mm -hmm. And he was almost upset with himself. Right. <laughs> and right. right there you start, 
it's crazy because you feel like this love and loss mm -hmm. that people had before we even start talking.